Hello everyone and welcome back to Manor Lords. Now welcome back to our tiny village. Now we might have died in the last episode kind of like to a food shortage but no problem I've just re-rolled a couple of times. We actually have the same starting location again on this on this very huge map right so we could also have started anywhere else but we actually started at the very beginning here again and of course I made things a bit different this time. Uh, it's still the same village right? We still have the same houses here. We still have the church that we have finished. The tavern is not finished yet. It is general so just around the end of winter we are getting close to this one um, and that's basically it. The only thing that changed now here is food. We have 160 food in stock uh, rather than the zero that we had in the last episode. And why is that the case? We only have one berry bush but we have wild animals and this is absolutely mandatory. I think so without wild animals you cannot survive the first winter because the berries they just actually go down really fast from eating but also from spoiling right so um, in that case here we went out of food way too quickly now we have a lot of meat in store and meat is really durable it's good to see that 74 and the cool thing also about meat is that it is harvestable or gatherable or huntable during winter as well, right? So we got deer out there, we got game out there, and we can hunt those thingies. I've got a hunter. Uh, the other one I've disassigned, so I've reduced it to zero because we have enough food for now. Um, we are actually close to the... I mean, we're we're looking good on that. I, I, I was focusing a bit more on firewood as firewood is really low there uh, with 40, right? So we got two people working on the woodcutter lodge there right now um, in this area. As we're looking at really, really, really a beautiful game there with the landscape. And I also like how far we can see out there, right? We also have this mist over the over the land. So it, it seems to be very cold indeed. And yeah, well, the city is doing fine so far. So we have our little village here. We got the little market here in the center. So this time, of course, I planned ahead there knowing that we can have the market there. And we also have enough space here then for a, for a, a tavern then as well that we can have then in this area, for example, or also like here for example this is possible though i would like to keep my my patch of trees here um also that was from the previous game there still perfect so this is this is all looking good right we can just enjoy the scenery right now the church is doing a good job approval rating is 52 all is well and we could actually i think then focus on my next mission here that is upgrading my burgage plot to level two so for that as we can see we still need a few things right food is actually looking really good because we got we got berries and meat now so two types of food in all the time and this is going to stay like that um clothing entertainment and faith faith has been not fulfilled as well with the church entertaining um that is the tavern but i think only when we have ale in it or beer so this is a bit problematic of course as i have no idea right now how we can uh, produce that i think with barley or something like that and then we have the cloth for that we have cloth uh, or cloth linen clothes shoes noble clothes now one thing with the hunters that we have here now they're not only producing meat and by the way, also very detailed uh, work that they have here, right? So we can see a lot of things here in detail. Um, what they also produce is pelts and wild animal carcasses. Uh, pelts is something that we're going to need then for our cloth industry. So we do have the industry. And as we can see here, the tannery can then make out of uh, pelts, can make leather out of that. And out of leather, I hope we can make something like shoes. Um, that would be the best one. And then we have the whole trading post that we can also have a look at then. So the trading system, because there is traders walking around here, passing by all the time. And I'm eager to find out what they have in store for us. Now, since we have a bit of time there right now and we got 28 timber, I would like to go ahead and continue with a bit of a city expansions. So we have this tiny slot here still available. I think one house we can we can squeeze into this to this one, right? Just check it out that we have it in a, in an appropriate manner. There it is. Let's build it. So another house that we can have. And here we can then have more houses then also. And this road continues then also down there as well. I think here the, the slope was too steep for us. So building in this area is probably not possible. Oh, it is possible by actually... Yeah, we cannot do it like this, right? So it would be too steep. I think the garden would be too steep then. But building it like that is possible. So we can have more houses than here on the on the hill I'm going upwards then as well. Perfect. That's exactly what I was hoping for. The farm is missing, of course, right? Um, can we can we check it out for farming? Um, the fertility, field wise. Oh yeah, look at that. Fertility has changed, right? So there is not that much fertility anymore. Um, 
here we have fertility now a lot. So for rye, for emmer, that is the important one. So we could have some fields in this area. I mean, it's very hilly here, right? So fields are always going to be a problem, but I think here we could have a nice farming farming land then for us as well. Um, we have February. The winter is really coming to an end now. The snow is uh, melting and we're looking very good here on food and fuel. Of course, because we have meat in store now, there's also not that many berries that are being consumed and that leads to having a, a good food variety all the time now. Um, and that also, with the um, right amount of food, um, I would really like to continue building more houses because we, we want to expand, right? We, we really want to, to make something. This would actually be possible. <laughs> that is five more tiles that we could have. And I think since I'm really, really greedy, I think we should actually do this. 10 timber. It's going to take a long time to construct this one here, but let's go ahead with this mass expansion of my village. And this, of course, means lots of new people joining our community. Let's have the next road then. Um, yeah, probably around here. Something like that, that we can have behind the church then and make a connection then here with the other road, right? So this is a block now coming up. Um, and then probably here somewhere we are going to have then the farm that I would like to add. Uh, and there's the next Burgage plot finished, so that means more people joining again. We got 24, and all of those people, of course, will help us then making a nice uh, village out of that. So I can and should assign the next hunter here again, once this is available. And then we probably really should start with the farming. Let me just check something else here. We got the mining going on, right? So used to extract iron ore or clay um, that we're going to need then for our iron industry that makes tools possible with the iron slabs. We do need then a bloomery as well. This one probably needs timber or something like that. Or firewood might very well be the case. Um, and there we have it, the brewery converts malt to ale. We do need a malt house and we do need barley for that. So there we have the alcohol production and then we have here the linen production, the cloth production as well. This is actually really useful to know because with that we know that farming is one thing that we need to do and for smithing we don't need tools, right? For tool creation we don't need that. So I can actually spend the only tool that we have right now into farming and I would like to do this because we do need to start on that. The farm we could have the farm then somewhere over here. Yep, at the end of the of the town. There it is. And behind it, we do have then all these fields here popping up. That's that's going to be the goal here. And let's have this road that goes then beside the farm into this into this area here where we are going to have then all the farming that will happen. Fantastic. So this is growing. Next house is coming along as well. We really have a lot of timber. Timber is just so important for any kind of expansion. And of course, the main goal right now is reach a burgage plot level 2. There it is. And with that, we have also increased the settlement level once more. So Layfield has developed and we also get a development point out of that. Unfortunately, it's not unlocked, right? So in the demo, we cannot use this. We got two points available here and unfortunately, no way of spending it. I would have loved to see some of that, but... It's fine. We still have lots of content already. And also I could watch these constructions for ages. Really, really, really detailed. I don't think I have seen it in this detail yet. They're even working then on, on stones here and then the floor is being added and the roof is being added. That's just very lovely to see. And we got lots of people here as we can see. So construction is quick right now. By the way, do I have on my pitching post? We do need a person there, of course. Someone that transports the logs that we have over. Let's just check it out here. Yep, the winter is over, but berries are still not regrowing. So it's spring. Um, berry deposits regrow. Plowing for quick summer harvest is possible still. But of course, there's not going to be that much farming this year. Especially since the farm takes really a long time. But it's fine. In autumn, we can then start with the fields. And then I would like to check something out. There it is, our iron deposit that we are going to need then for the iron production. We do have a road here still. So I could also now connect this side of my village with the main road there again. Right, so that we have several connections now coming in then. Another burgage plot. And now construction on this one here starts. I mean, the farm is actually faster. We could add priority to the farm. No, let's not do this, right? So the farm just stays. We finish the burgage plus. We need the people. And we got 30 people now in store. Of 30 people now being in the 
in, in, in the village. Also here, by the way, we have 11 families, right? And zero unassigned. So everyone is currently assigned to something. Uh, yeah, we still have way too many people here in the woodcutter lot. So since the the winter is over, I think it's going to be fine to just have one person in it. And the other ones can really work on construction and also on hunting and stuff like that. And then also on mining. Let's actually go ahead and start with that industry, the mining pit. Um, we don't need to have it on it, right? I hope not. We just need to have it close by so workers can get there. We have the hunters over here, so let's go with the mining pit and also here. And the workers will then just go over that, right? It'll be fine. Let's hope that it works like that. Or we actually need to place it right on top of it. Could also be the case, really, but it doesn't indicate that for me. It will make sense, but it only cost me one timber, so it's fine. We will not lose a lot of time or resources by placing it once and then a second time. New family joins. We got three unassigned families right now. Ooh, I can see a prosperous farming coming up soon because we have the workforce. By the way, I could assign a second person to the logging camp so we get a bit more timber in. We always need that. And Forager Hut? Yep, yeah, Forager Hut can also work now um, to get the berries because the berries have regrown. All right, and we have finished these houses and we get a message. The king demands to the region of Layfield, you are hereby on omission of debt for the lands on which the royal crown has granted stewardship to the honorable Greg. A tax is to be levied upon the land to be paid in precious wealth or labor. Failure to submit payment will bind the lands for fate, the governance under stewards and return to the crown. We got 365 days to pay the upcoming royal tax of five. And build a tax collector to increase the treasury. I hope we have that. Please don't let me fail again. We do need a medium village to build a tax collector. Interesting. Medium village. Current settlement level is medium village though. And we cannot build it. This is problematic. It is locked. And we cannot build it. Perhaps I do need to build a gatehouse first. That I also cannot build. So the gatehouse is also not buildable. Um, yeah, I think we are screwed once again. But we'll just see. We'll just continue here and see how it goes then. By the way, the mining pit has been... No, has not been finished yet. Let's actually add it priority number three here. So they start working on that ASAP. And let's also build a trading post. This one, we can sell surplus goods to passing merchants. And let's have the trading post down here, right? So by the by the main road, I think it makes sense. There you go. And let's also add this one to priority three. We should finish this ASAP together with the mining pit. This It may, might actually be possible that we make some coin out of it then. Let's just hope that this is the case. And a new family moves in. So we have two more unassigned families now that we can use for our fields then and stuff like that. We still have plenty of time there until autumn. Right. Mining pit has been finished. And let's just see. Um, I think it is as I thought it is. There is not going to be any production here. Let's assign someone to that. And this guy is now just waiting. Let's see. He's on his way now. And what is he doing? I think he might actually be producing something. Perhaps clay? At least he's doing something. We'll just see what it is, though, that he's producing here. Meanwhile, our trading post is coming along as well. Plenty of people are helping out here. And there it is. Finally, the trading post has also been finished. Took us, I think, around 10 days. Beautiful. I love it how the game adjusts these buildings to the elevation, to the slope that we have. Let's it look very dynamic. Beautiful. 
And here now, I'm pretty sure we do need someone, right? Yes, we do need a person to work in it. And we can now also say what should be... What should be sold. I think there is a, tra a trader already. But he's still moving past, all right? He's not coming in yet. Now, let's just see food we have, for example. We got lots of food in stock. And we should also have lots of... Props. Tools. Materials. That we have the firewood. We got 60 firewood right now, so perhaps I can do something. Export only. Target would be something around 40. Let's make it 50. Right, and... Iron ore we could also sell. Pelts we could sell. We have lots of pelts. Let's export pelts for now. Um, to a minimum of, let's say, 60. This should also net us a bit of coin. Commodities, nothing yet. And food-wise, yeah, I mean, meat is coming in so much that I can also safely sell some meat to a target of 100. Let's just keep this one safe. Expert only. So this hopefully should be fixed now, right? So... Layfield. Export only. No idea what this means here. This is a trade route, I think, that we have there right now. Let's not do this. Let's rather just work with what we have. And that is now those rules that we've set and I hope this works and as we can see the storage is actually filling up right so someone is transporting it over that's the two people that work here now these guys and hopefully we can sell something hmm what else would we have we do our, we are already selling the pelts now the firewood uh, berries are rather not that's it though, right? We might have iron ore soon, so I've, I've, it was not producing anything. So the pit needs to be right on top of the resource. Um, and in that case here, there is already now someone working on that. Just costing us a timber. We have plenty of timber. Uh, firewood wise, two people should be fine for now. Logging camp is also two people working there, so that should also be fine. As far as I can see. Um, so far so good. Hopefully we're making some money now out of that. There is also the option here of having a traveling merchant, right? So this guy here would then travel to the nearest trade point to fulfill set inventory targets. Um, is it what I think it is? Because these are traders are just passing by. Let's assign someone to that. And perhaps he's now, you know, becoming a, a traveling merchant that takes the goods to other places. No idea. We'll see. The whole thing is still new to me. Um, the farm is also coming along. We will need to have some set fields then. We have maize, so we're getting closer to the season where it is required then of us. Emmer, flax, no, barley. Barley is okay. Smell. Let's just have some fields here. Right behind the farm, right? And as we know, we can have a few of them. This one would also be possible. Right, so those two fields can then start working for us already behind the farm. Let's see. Fellow, no, MR. We got a very good ratio here for MR. And we are, of course, rotating this one then to barley and then to flax. Oops, barley and then flax. And this one here, we are going to say, uh, start with start with flax, please. No, start with barley for the alcohol. Go to MR and then flax. By now, the next trading pit or mining pit has been finished. So I'm going to assign someone to that right away. And yeah, we are actually full on workforce. So, or empty on workforce. Let's just see. I think at the the markets here, we don't really need someone there right now. Let's, let's reduce the amount. And nine timber, I think, is fine for now as well. So let's also reduce the logging camp by one. So that those people can then work in the mining pit now. There it is. Already on its way now. Our new miner. Nickel. Off you go, Nickel. He's, he's looking not really motivated to do the task at hand. Cutting down stone and iron somewhere deep in the forest, far away from the village. But I guess you will have to just do that. And hopefully there's no real danger out there. Look at that, we actually sold something. We got 14 coin. At least it just told me that we got the 14 coin. I don't see it in my treasury yet. But someone definitely purchased my my firewood. 
Oh, can we see that? Can we see that anywhere? Trade options? We don't have that. Transporting goods over here. 14 coins we just made. Where are they? The firewood is definitely gone. Hopefully it's being stored somewhere then. There it is. It's actually up here, the regional wealth. Wealth can be used for imports or tax. Of course, wealth is not the treasury. It's not the coin. So the tax collector can make real coin out of that by using the regional wealth. I hope that we can still build the tax collector. It should be unlocked by now, right? Because this one, the gatehouse, also has a minimum settlement level of medium village. The tax collector is also at the same time, but we cannot build it. So this is unfortunately something that I think will end the demo then at some point forcefully because you have to reach that population in order to get the industry started. Um, let's just go ahead. Medium. We got now the farm up. No people assigned to that yet. So I will now reduce the amount of trading post because I think it's, it's not that useful anyway. And let's go ahead and assign two people then to my farms and they can now then work the fields right over there. Right, so that we can finally start them with that in June. So we still have a bit of time actually before it starts. But at least we have it for now. I think everything else is still working fine. Our food is, is incredibly high. Our fuel is also still piling up. That's very good. Mm, materials, the 100 pelts. For iron ore, we have iron. We got the first iron ore in store. Perfect, four of them. We can use this then for smeltering our goods. And since we have grown so much, let's just quickly have a look around again. Starting at the church. On this fine day. Fine summer day. With my hiking boots ready to go. Right here at the market. Okay, I think I figured something out here. Before I can build a tax collector, I do need to have a manor area. Unfortunately, there is no area where I can designate that. It is the Bailey Wall. This one creates a closed wall perimeter to designate the area for your manor house. Requires a gatehouse for construction. Um, it also doesn't say that here, right? Um, so I think it is like a one of these monuments that you have also then with the... Uh, like in Foundation, for example, right? So these... Um, modular buildings that you can have let's just see we got 12 timbers let's not make this too big uh, let's have the the wall here so we could have it behind the church i think it is fitting we have the space we could also probably have it here somewhere our manor house but i would make to make sure in this area that we still have room for the the taverns so either way i can do this right either here or behind the church i think we are going with behind the church for now Yeah, not too, not too central, right? And still in a good area where we can use it. Let's build the uh, the, 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 the first wall here. Um, and then we have the second one. As we can see, we can actually make it curved too. There you go. And then it goes all around here. Let's just see, hope that this is big enough. <laughs> I have no idea. And then we make the constru construction. Five, it costs me. And then, yes, we can finally add then also a gate to this one. Right, so that we would have then somewhere here, I guess. A nice gate entrance, and this is now under construction. And once that is done, we can then add a manor house. No, actually, we cannot... We cannot build a manor house, I think, because this feature is locked in the demo. Um, I will, however, hopefully be able to build a tax collector on top of that. So far, so good, at least. The village is coming together... And we continue onwards into heavy industry and taxation. Stay tuned.